Switchbacks, like this one here at the loop, are a common design feature of many mountain roads. Generally, the only way to get up an overpass is to switch back and forth several times in order to gain the elevation needed. If the Going to the Sun Road had been built following one design plan, it would have had 15 switchbacks climbing up the head of Logan Creek, directly below Logan Pass. Most of the switchbacks would have been up this valley here towards Logan Pass, which is right, right over that saddle. In 1924, Frank Kittredge of the Bureau of Public Roads directed a survey of potential routes over Logan Pass. His team started in September and was able to map out 21 miles before winter closed in. Imagine surveying uh, this mount topography in inclement weather, hanging off of ropes, ascending and descending thousands of feet. The turnover rate was incredibly high just uh, at 300% of people that, uh, men that said enough's enough and walked off the job. But the survey work did pay off and in late 1924, National Park Service Director Stephen Mather approved Kittredge's alternate route. It contained only one switchback and followed McDonald Creek where it turned north before looping back on itself and continuing up the garden wall in one long continuous path. The current route allows for greater views of the park and blends well into the landscape. The work of Kittredge and the Bureau of Public Roads resulted in a partnership with the National Park Service to construct roads throughout the national park system. The Bureau of Public Roads became the Federal Highway Administration and today that partnership still continues. <laughs>